Welcome back. We continue to follow the horrific discovery of children's remains at a former residential school site. But how do you start having a conversation about such a devastating topic without appearing insensitive to the Indigenous community? Here's City News reporter Miranda Fatour with that answer. We can't just get over it, not just as Indigenous people, and we can't just get over it as a country. After last week's horrific discovery of the remains of 215 children on the grounds of a former residential school in Kamloops, there's been talk about Canada's history. I welcome those discussions. I welcome the ability to have those on, unfold before us so that we can get to the crux of the problem of true reconciliation. On Monday, the Indigenous Education team held a drum circle to honour the lives lost and to support one another. We encourage kids as young as five to continue to ask questions to teachers, but also ask questions to their parents because ultimately it's uh, the entire community that needs to come together. I think we go back to what Murray Sinclair said, who was one of the main authors of the Truth and Reconciliation Final Reports. Uh, sit and listen, show respect, and don't, don't over-talk the Indigenous people of this country. I think the first step is just um, one doing your own research and the historical context of these residential schools. Don't sit in silence and let the misinformation and, and um, racial rhetoric continue. In North Vancouver, Miranda Fatour, City News. And coming up just after 8 o'clock, you heard from her there, Angela White. She will be joining us live here on Breakfast Television to talk about support services available to survivors of residential schools. All right, 622 is your time right now. Coming up next, one country has just revised its death toll and now become the world's worst per capita when it comes to COVID-19. We're going to tell you where next.